Hi guys, John back again with another small video on a beginner's guide on Forex. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Forex candles. Okay, so, and specifically what the candle is and the structure of the candle. And I'm going to do this in a simplified way and the best way I can. Again, if you're in the Discord that we have here, if you have any queries or questions on this, you have that support channel in the beginners area where you can ask questions in there related to this particular uh, subject. So if you have something that you need answering, you can always reach out to me inside of the Discord in the beginners chat where this video will be posted. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not inside of the, the Discord, you want to know what we're all about, just simply reach out to me and uh, contact me and we'll get you inside of the Discord, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and share the screen. And we'll just get my handsome face in this corner here, okay? So the candles and what are they about, okay? So first of all, what you're going to see is uh, we've got candles. So you just ignore this at the moment to trade I've got going. We've got ordinary Japanese candles. Now, these are the ones I'm going to talk about today. There is other things that you can do with regard to the candles, which is on the top. Okay, you have candles here. You have a line chart. Uh, you've got the bars. You've got uh, Haiganashi. And you've got, obviously, Japanese candles. These are the ones I want to talk about today. And most importantly, what these structure points are and the colorations of these, okay? Uh, so we're just gonna head over to the top end. Now a candle, let me just bear with me while I draw. So what we have, a candle, can be something like this, okay? So. If we see that this is a green candle, and I'll go over the colors in a moment. Right, so this is a candle. Okay. And generally, what happens on the charts from uh, a standard, we'll, we'll call this a standard sort of practice, from a standard point of view. And we'll just get, uh, again, my fire wand out, just so I can break this down a bit more for you. Text. There we are. Right, so here we go. So uh, Forex Candles 101, and trying to keep this as simple as I possibly can for you, okay, and we'll talk a little bit about this. So generally, from a basic overview of a forex chart okay a lot of people will have the buying power in green and they will generally have the selling power in red now there's no right and no wrong way to have these colors it's just down to personal preference okay so just bear with me just roll a crumb off my keyboard there so yeah it's just down to your personal preference but in this instance what we've got is we've got the candles, as you can see, we've got green, as you can see, is going up. And when there's pressure on the cell, on my charts here anyway, pressure on the cell, the price is coming down, so it's red. So we're just gonna use that aspect at the moment. Right, so what happens is when a candle is generated, and I'll just put a blank one here, okay? When a candle is generated, at first, and it moves up and down like this. It oscillates, okay? It moves up and down. This is what we call the body of the candle. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that there. This is known as the body of the candle. There is other terminology for these. It could be called wax. It could be the body. Uh, and there's uh, various other names for it, but mainly 
uh, when you are looking at Japanese candles, this will be called the body of the candle because that's where the whole of the price action is situated and contained, or you could be known as wax, hence the name candle. Okay, so if we can imagine this candle here, <clears throat> just ignore the color of it at, at the moment, okay, it's, it's irrelevant at this time, but if this was to be, be moving up and down and just ignore that, okay, this moves up and down and then eventually it stops here, okay, so it does not matter whether you are on one minute, a five minute, a 15 minute, a 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly or monthly, whatever candle situation this is, when it closes here and the timer runs out, which is obviously what you would see on the right hand side, okay? Once you see, let's just get this down. Once you see this timer run out, which is here, there's 12 minutes 53, there will be a new candle form, okay? So let's just say this is a five minutes. And then once it closes, it's gonna form onto a new candle, okay? Wherever price leaves or stops in this situation, okay, this would then have the open of a candle, okay? And in this instance, because we are moving up, let's see, the bottom in this instance is now called the open of the candle, okay? Now, what will happen is, if you can imagine this candle is now live, it's moving up and down, okay? Ignore the top and ignore the bottom at the moment. So this candle is fluctuating with price within the time frame and within the parameter. So it moves up and it moves down. It oscillates within that time fractal nature, okay? Now, this is where the top end and the bottom end come into play, okay? So if you can imagine, price is moving down and as it moves down and then pulls back up, it leaves a trail behind, okay? Now I see a trail. As this is pushed down fully to here, okay? This is where the price is fully came to. So as it's pushed down within the time frame it's been on, the candle would be reverting to a red because this is the open of where price started, okay? Now, price will fluctuate and as it fluctuates back up, when you look at this, it starts leaving a, a, a trail or a tail, or it's known as a wick, hence the name candle, okay? So as price is oscillating and fluctuating between here, because the pressure of the selling has been as low as this, okay? And then starts coming back up, this candle will steer red until at least it surpasses okay, the open area. Once it surpasses the open area, and this is still in play within the five minutes, it uh, will then change to a green candle because the buyers have come in control, okay? And what happens is it leaves behind an area here, a residue, a tail, or a wick. Uh, and again, we will call this a wick simply because of the candle. Okay, so this is where selling, when it was oscillating between here, the sellers were in control and it was red at this stage from being at the open of the candle. It come down as low as this area here, okay? So this would be known as your low. This is your low. But price then came back into the buyers and it started going green. Now it started fluctuating. And again, this is where the body comes in. And as it fluctuates, it starts pushing pressure up here, okay? And it goes as high. This would be known as the candle high. Why? Simply because it pushed to its highest points, okay? But then the sellers started coming back in and it starts leaving the residue, the tail, or the wick, okay? So then what happens is you start getting, you start getting on both ends a wick on either side, okay? Now, as time comes down on your five minute area, okay? This then stops here, okay? This would stop here producing 
what we would call a close, okay? So because this has been a buy-in predominant candle, your open would start on the top, okay? You've had a little bit of selling pressure on the bottom. It's, then the, the buys have come back with control as prices moved up. It leaves behind our residue, our teal, our wick, our wick, okay? And then the buyers are still in control and they're pushing this candle up. And within that five minute time frame, it's created a body of the candle pushing up, hence the green candle in this nature. And it went as high as this price here, leaving a high, but then it started coming back down towards the back end of the five minutes. And what happens is the candle or price before the next candle has started, which will be here, okay, then closes, okay? So then you get the close of the candle, and then we start again from the aspect of a new candle, okay? So what would happen is, I mean, obviously you might end up with the next candle, you might end up with the next candle being a green candle again, and the process starts again, okay? So what will happen is it'll come up, it'll fluctuate up and down, up and down, and it stays green until it comes. It'll stay green until, because this here is the open. Get this, clone it. This is now the new open, okay? So price is moving up and down. And as it moves up, let's say it's still in an uptrend. It's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing. It goes as high as this, okay? And which that's the high, okay? I'm just going to put the wick to here for now. So what we can see is this then is the pressure of the buy-in. So this would be its high point. Well, let's say all of a sudden the pressure starts releasing and the sellers start coming back down, okay? And as it's pushing down, it starts coming down here, okay? And as it's coming down, it starts creating, let's take a look. That was the open, that's the open there. That's a wick. Right, so as it's coming down, okay, it's fluctuating between the lower. I do apologize. Uh, let's have a look. So now it's come down as low as this. And what's happening is the previous lower, it's, it's breaking the structure point, okay? So again, we go back onto break of structure. And as it's coming down, it's wicked out of the liquidity area of this low point. But then this, it's coming back up. And it stops here, okay? It closes. If price was to close, if price was to close here because the open, Okay, because the open was at the top end here. We'll get this down here. Because it, it opened at this stage here, just to retract, it opened here, okay? And as it was pushing up, it stays green, okay? Now, as it goes down to, let's say, three minutes, three minutes and count, it starts coming down, it's pushing down this side, it would then turn into a red candle simply because it's open is in conjunction with the, the area of here, okay? The minute it starts breaking structure into the, the body of the previous candle, the candle will turn red. It means that the sellers are in control. It pushes down, it starts fluctuating down here, and then it stops here. Our five minutes is up. We've got the close of the candle. We have then got another candle going to form. And when that new candle is going to form, that means it's going to open. 
at the close of the other candle, which is here, okay? So then this one here is fully formed with its body. That becomes the body of the candle. And so the process will repeat. So again, just to go into the third candle, what would happen is this candle here, as it's gone into the, the third of the fifth minutes, so we'll get three, five minutes, what will happen is that the close here, and then we, we start to draw out a new candle, okay? Uh, let's see if price continues to move down. It just means the candle will stay red, okay? Let's have a look at this. And again, the process, it, it moves between this area and then starts to retrace back from its lowest area. And I hope you're following along with this. It starts to retrace from its lowest area and then price moves surpassing the close and the open, which is right next to each other. And price starts coming back into a buying market. Okay, it's green. And then it comes all the way back up and it starts to shoot up. And at its highest point, let's see at its highest point it reaches here. Okay, I'm just drawing a wick at the moment. So at its highest point, it's reached as high as that, okay? But then the sellers are starting to come back in. Five minutes are starting to come to a close, and then it comes to here. It closes out here. This then becomes the close of the candle. And that forms the body, okay? And again, as I say, when you get your when you get your residue, let's take a look. When you get your residue uh, or trail or tail, or in this instance, as we call, because we're working on candles, your wick. This is what is left behind here, okay? And we just go to clone. This is a wick. And that's a wick. I'll just close out my emails because I'll get that many. You can see how many I'll get during at the end of the fair. Yeah, so what we've got is a rundown, okay? We've got the high, the low of the structure of a candle. Within the high and the low, okay, so within, within the price at its highest and the price at its lowest, okay, we then come into the wick area where price has been to or has visited during that five minute time frame. Again, it could be any other time frame. When you come down into the area, it's either going to be an open or a close, depending on which direction the candle is moving from its previous candle. Okay. And in this instance, we've got green for buy, we've got red for sell. When you go into the full fat, okay. You've got the body, or it could be known as the wax of the candle. Okay. Now, again, if the candle was pushing up and it stays in an uptrend, the open of a candle is always at the bottom. Okay. The close of a candle on an uptrend will always be at the top and vice versa. If you were coming in a downtrend, the open of the candle would be at the top. And the close of the candle would be on the bottom of, of a downtrend. Okay. So that is based upon a, a candle structure of the Japanese candles, the, or, or, or we can call these ordinary candles. Okay. Now, if I if, if I go down into the chart, and I'll see if I can kill two birds with one stone with this. If I sort of give you a look on here and give you an aspect, okay. So we've got, let's take a look, this might be a good example. We've got uh, the downtrend, okay? So we've got a push down, close of candle on here, okay? So as this is downward pressure, as this is downward pressure, okay? This is where price finished, okay? Price finished at this exact point, hence, 
the open of the new candle, okay? Now, as we had the open of the new candle, we still had downward pressure, but that downward pressure on here went as low as this price point here, okay? And as that downward pressure pushed down, there was a bounce back up into a buying market, okay? Leaving behind what we would call the wick, the, the residue, the tail, okay? So this would be the wick. This is the open of the new candle in conjunction to the close of the downturn. So the buyer was still in control. It went as high as this area right up here. This would be the high of the candle. So you've got the high and the low. You have the open of the candle. Uh, but the price started coming back down. We then come to the end of our time frame, where the, the arrow is at the moment becomes the close. Okay, just to, just to give you a bit more visual visualization on this. And as you can see, it's in conjunction with where the open of the new candle is. Okay, and again, just to show you, you can see we've got a, a high. We've got a low point, okay? But as we we done that, it's fluctuated between the high and the low. This is the open. Price has come down. It's come down as low as this area, but then went back into a buying area, and then eventually turned in a red candle because we had a closer price here. Okay. I hope that makes I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Uh, let's just have a look. My share on the screen. I don't know whether I'm sharing the screen. I'm going to watch the video back. If it was any good, I'll just upload it. The last couple of minutes might have been missing. Might have been missing a video.